Hey, this is Sasha and welcome to another episode on Backstage Income where I share with you how to build and grow a profitable business. And today I wanna share with you an Evernote replacement. And if you haven't heard me talk about uh, these network attached storages before, listen up because it can definitely transform your business and the way that you do things. Um, you know, a lot of people, they like to store things in the cloud and I do too because it makes life easy. You can access things by phone, you can access things on other devices. But the problem is, of course, security. And I personally think that security at your own house is probably a little bit better than security at other firms. And that is simply because what happens is these big firms are targeted for breaches. And this is why these breaches happen is because they're targeted. And when they're targeted for these things, people are trying to extract the data because there's a lot of users out there. Because when they break it, they get a huge win rather than if they're trying to break into yours, well, they might only get one person's data. So. Looking at it from that perspective, when you have hackers and people who are trying to breach and penetrate these companies' uh, data uh, exposed, uh, it's really a problem. And I think that having your own server also, it's just gonna save you a lot of money. So if you're looking for uh, in, uh, something that's different than Evernote, comparing to looking at the notes that, let's just say, hey, you wanna go ahead and take notes within your business, you wanna organize some things. Um, and in your business, you wanna share notes amongst people. Well, you're looking at $8 a month for Evernote Premium, sometimes for business users, if you're mixing in multiple teams, about $15 a month. Now you could of course use the basic version absolutely free, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're starting to go ahead and use some of the premium features already, uh, one of the better alternatives of course is to have your own server because of the privacy. Because at one point Evernote was also talking about, hey, we're reading other people's notes, they're not encrypted. So why not have your own cloud? And this is where uh, you get into the same thing with Dropbox. You know, you're paying 10 bucks a month on average for these kinds of things. So if you have a disk server, network attached server right here, here's the disk station, uh, but there's many out there. So let's just look at a Synology uh, servers out here. So basically, um, you know, I have a big one, something like this, 8Bay. There's others in, that you can go ahead and get that are even bigger. Uh, but let's say you have this big uh, box. I'd say it's probably about this big, the size of one or two uh, basketballs. So uh, it's sitting on your desk and now all of a sudden people can send and receive data. Not only that, you can do a lot more with it like install applications on it, which is one of the applications, just one of them is NoteStation. And NoteStation, I'll show you what that looks like on um, my computer over here. So if you go ahead and let's go to my server, so here you could see it kind of looks something like this and you have a column over here on the left and I've zoomed in just to block some private things because we do a lot of private things on here as well. Uh, I have some old passwords that I need to go ahead and change. There's a uh, video idea bank, uh, big projects, but overall here's kind of what it really looks like just on the editing part. And you could go ahead and use it just like you would with Evernote. So you store notes and you could convert these into you know numbers or bullets or you could convert it into a checkbox if you want. So you can go ahead and add those things in. So hey, if I wanna add a checkbox, you know, hey, here's a checkbox, here's an item, and I could go ahead and use it kind of as a to-do list. So there's a lot of things you could do. You could put in pictures in here. There's just so many things that are possible, and it really is just like Evernote. Now, there's not uh, every single feature that's in Evernote, because Evernote just constantly evolves this, but these servers, they can do a lot more. Uh, with these servers, there's many more applications uh, that you can do. So take, for example, here on the products, let's say we go to the Synology Disk Station Manager. I can share files with my team. I can file sync, data backup, protect things. Um, there's multimedia things, cloud services. So there's a ton of applications um, that you can go ahead and add. And here is the list of packages, which is basically applications you can install on this mini computer, or in other words, this server, and you can go ahead and use. So for example, a calendar that you can sync, you can use your a chat system, you can use the discourse, a download manager. Uh, there's just many more uh, tools out there. And these are just all, um, you know, just a handful of the things that you can do. You can install your own website on these kinds of servers. Now, I still would recommend, let's say, hey, certain specific things you may wanna buy because they just have some premium features uh, to some of the tools, like, let's say, a web host. I maybe would not host a huge website on these servers, 
But to get things started, you could go ahead and host a WordPress website or some basic websites. Uh, you know, Google Drive replacement. Um, so there's a lot of things that you can do. There's the WordPress uh, tool and package. There's a lot of things that you can do. And all you do is you buy one of these boxes, you put some hard drives in it, you connect it to your internet, and now your team can log in and you can give them certain permissions and you can go ahead and use kind of Evernote uh, as a replacement. So rather than paying um, whatever the fees for Evernote are, Evernote uh, pricing uh, compare, and when you start looking at this, you know, just $8 a month, or if you're using it as a team, $15 a month, uh, you know, putting this together at, you know, 10 months, you're at $80. And then if you use it for another application or another tool, um, all of a sudden it starts make, uh, making things more worthwhile. Not to mention it's private, it's on your own uh, internet, it's not as prone or targeted as um, other uh, big companies because they want big data breaches to be able to mine and get everybody's passwords. So in this case, your account is not on there with all your details. So it makes it a lot better. And especially if you got, let's say, five or ten users that are using it, here on a per user basis with Evernote, it starts to stack up. So, you know, imagine having five people times $15 a month, you know, that's looking at 60 bucks or so, and you multiply that times 10 months, well, you're at $600, where you paid for your server already in 10 months with five people. So getting a server way earlier, using it as a note-taking strategy um, it, early on, it's gonna save you a lot more money in the long run. Of course, it's a higher upfront cost, and there's a little bit of setup and configuration that you need to know and understand, so if you're not techie, you might need some help with that. But otherwise, as far as a Evernote replacement strategy, this is the way to go, and it's private. You can't go wrong with it. There's a couple little tools that you may not have, so when you compare the features, you know, um, it doesn't have everything in that single note-taking app, uh, but overall, um, you know, you can do quite a lot. I'd say probably 95% of what you can do in Evernote. And the, here's the other big thing. In a business account, you got 20 gigabyte uh, limit or two gigabyte per user or 10 gigabyte on the premium with this server it's unlimited it's unlimited on space and note sizes based I'm not sure on the note sizes but it's basically unlimited on space as much hard drive space as you got or put it in if you need to upgrade it you just pull one out put a new one in and you're done it's done in a second um, and uh, it, it simplifies your life in that way so anyway think about it and look at this as a long-term investment in your business, not so much as, hey, well, it's a little bit more upfront cost. The long-term effect, if you plan to be in your business for a while, if you got multiple people working, connecting, uploading files to you, it's way worth it. And not to mention, if you're doing things in Evernote, note-taking things, it's a much better deal to deal with uh, the Synology Note Station. And many of these other tools as well, uh, like a QNAP, uh, they also create these drives. They also have NoteStation uh, things, but Synology typically is a little bit more user-friendly for people to set up. So you could go with QNAP, you could go with Synology. There's others out there as well. Uh, but having your own network-attached storage, NAS, is a much better decision than just paying things for in the cloud all the time because the price keeps stacking up. So anyways, I hope this makes sense. And if you want to see some of the tools that I use and have, go to that Backstage Income website. You can check out the resources. And I try to keep these updated fairly regularly. And uh, if you really want to check things out, you know, computer and gear, equipment, you know, you can go ahead and click it and you can see a lot of parts. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put that in there as well. Or of course, check the description in the video as well. And that'll help me out if you purchase using my link because I get a little bit of credit or commissions probably, not always, sometimes I just put the link in there, but um, oftentimes that's the way YouTubers or anybody who creates videos and content makes some additional cash. So thanks for joining me. If you want to see some of the other great video trainings that I have about building and growing your business, sign up on YouTube or visit my website at backstageincome.com and be sure to get on the newsletter list so that way you know when new courses and new products or books are coming out. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.